Insects outnumber humans by a billion to one. But unlike some humans, they can keep themselves clean despite making their home in the undergrowth. Keeping clean is essential for ants who need spotless antennae to communicate, smell food and follow pheromone trails. Alexander Hackman of the University of Cambridge's zoology department has been taking a microscopic look at how they do it. Since they have got really, really well-developed, sophisticated cleaning structures, there must be a reason why they have them. So they must face a massive problem with contaminants. And the other bit which is quite interesting about the research is um, because the cleaning structures are used to clean very, very sensitive surfaces on a very small scale, basically a micro nanoscale. And humans face very similar problem, problems with microelectronic devices and semiconductors. Um, we think that we can probably use those principles to, uh, to build bio-inspired cleaning devices for cleaning on macro and nanoscale. Ants run their antennae between their legs to get rid of any dirt. Alexander found that they have three different types of brushes or combs to deal with different particle sizes. This is a top view of the so-called notch, basically a curvature which you can find on the ant's leg. And the red bit is what we call the bristles. It's basically the first, first part of the cleaning structure that comes in contact with the contaminated antenna. Then in blue you can find this really, really regularly spaced comb, which basically looks like a normal hair comb that humans would use. Um, which comes in contact with the dirty antenna tw uh, second. And then in the green bit here is what we call the brush, which attracts the particles by different mechanisms. So while the first two combs clean the particles mechanically, basically they're scraping off the particles from the antennal hairs, the, the brush is working a different way. Basically it comes in contact with the antenna surface and then it tracks the particles and pulls them to their side. So this brush or this whole cleaning structure after it has cleaned the, the antenna surface has to be cleaned by the ants mouth parts in order to allow reuse of the cleaning structure. The ants have kept some of their secrets. We're still not sure how the smallest particles are brushed off the antennae or which dirts most ants have to deal with. Yet it's clear that there's some invaluable knowledge at our feet both for the zoology and computer technology labs. Adam Page, Cambridge TV.